On this episode of DevKit Weekly, we're going to go over the STM32U5 Nucleo 144 Evaluation Board from ST Microelectronics. Here's what you'll need if you want to build an industrial IoT sensor node. The intelligence to convert, filter, and in some cases even analyze analog signals at the edge enough efficiency to run for long periods on minimal resources, and some amount of connectivity. Oh yeah, you'll probably also need some security because of that connectivity. And you also might want to start thinking about compliance with safety standards like IEC 61508. So you can see how fast you could get into deep water with what probably started out as some desire to make simple measurements. Fortunately, ST has a life raft for industrial IoT prototypers in the form of the STM32U5 Nucleo 144 Evaluation Board, like this one, which is for the STM32U575ZIT6Q MCU. The STM32U5 portfolio is a family of extreme low power secure microcontrollers designed around a 160 MHz ARM Cortex M33 CPU with a single precision floating point unit, DSP instructions, a memory protection unit, and a bunch of specialized math, imaging, and crypto accelerators. All of that is enough to efficiently capture and analyze sensor readings at the edge, even if you're running on a battery or other limit powered supply, because the STM32U5 devices draw just 110 nanoamps in shutdown, 300 nanoamps in standby, and as little as 19 microamps per megahertz in active mode. If you're the trust but verify type, check out Embassy's ULP Mark and Secure Mark benchmarking databases to see those scores for yourself. Those double take inducing power consumption numbers are possible thanks to innovative new features on the STM32U5, like low power background autonomous mode, or LP BAM, that are especially relevant for local sensor monitoring. LPBAM provides direct memory access to peripherals while the CPU is asleep and no software is running. So operations like peripheral reconfiguration and data transfers can be performed essentially for free. Industrial IoT sensor developers can use LPBAM to monitor sensors connected over the I2C, SPI, and UART interfaces. But they can also use the feature for single sequence ADC conversions, which leverage a low power timer PWM to trigger the STM32U5's integrated 12 or 14-bit ADCs. At one kilohertz sam sampling frequency, the LPBAM ADC conversion can yield 90% current consumption savings over traditional run, sleep, stop operations. On the board, you can access all that functionality via a do-it-all USB Type-C full speed port that carries both power and data, as well as the Arduino Uno V3 compatible ST Zio connectors that you can plug in any number of off-the-shelf sensor shields into, as well as ST Morpho extension pin headers for connecting scopes, logic analyzers, voltometers, or even other prototyping boards. There's also an onboard ST-Link V3E debugger and programmer with USB re-enumeration capability that eliminates the need for external probes altogether. The ST-Link V3E debugger and programmer is also your ticket the STM32U575ZIT6Q's MCU's Trust Zone enabled memory subsystem. These and other on chip security mechanisms, like secure data storage with a hardware unique key, side channel resistant AES encryption, and active tamper detection, have helped the STM32U55ZIT6Q achieve ARM PSA Level 3 and Security Evaluation Standard for IoT Platforms Level 3 certifications. The same can be said of developing against industry standards, which, if you're designing an industrial IoT sensor system, you will be. The X-Cube STL Functional Safety Package, provided as a library in the STM32 Cube development environment, provides a functional safety package for engineers who need to certify functions up to IEC 61508, safety integrity levels 2 or 3. The TUV Rhineland certified X-Cube STL includes a software-based diagnostic suite that uses a fault injection methodology to detect random hardware failures in the CPU, SRAM, or flash memory. To access the library, you'll need to sign an NDA and download the STM32Cube U5 MCU package, but that also includes reference code for things like Trusted Firmware M in accordance with the ARM PSA security model and examples of features like LPBAM. 
So we've come full circle and given you everything you need to get started building an industrial IoT sensor node of your own, courtesy STMicro's STM32U5 Nucleo 144 Evaluation Board. Now you just need to get one, which will cost you only $22.54 per unit, which isn't bad at all. But of course, it's not as good as free. You can enter the raffle linked to in the description below, test your luck and win this board right here. Then we'll ship it to you anywhere in the world for zero dollars. As always, thanks for watching. Good luck on what should be a simplified industrial IoT sensor system deployment. And we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.